So good afternoon, good evening, good morning, depending on what you are, where you are to all of you. Um, my name is Marguerite messingal wimbe I am a senior science manager at ASLM. I am also the chair of the Stop TB Partnership Global Laboratory Initiative. And I wish you a warm welcome to this joint session, LabCOP Eco Session, jointly with the GLI, um, which will be uh, dedicated to the new uh, TB Diagnostic Network Assessment Tool. So maybe just before we start, I will just uh, provide a few words regarding the GLI and also to introduce our panelists uh, for the session today. So the GLI, or like I said, the Global Laboratory Initiative at a glance, is one of the seven working group of the Stop TB Partnership, and it serves as an independent technical expert advisory group to WHO, the Stop TB Partnership, development and funding agencies, as well as country. And the mission of the GLI is to serve as a collaborative platform for the development and uptake of practical guidance and tool for building and sustaining high quality TB diagnostic network. If you wish to have more information about the GLI, you can consult the link which is now on your screen. So our topic for the uh, LabCorp Eco session today is really uh, aiming to introduce the TB Diagnostic Network Assessment Tool, or TBDNA. And we will have three panelists today. Uh, the first one will be Dr. Alex Durena, which is a TB Diagnostic Technical Advisor with USAID uh, in Washington, uh, D.C., TB Division. He will be uh, presenting uh, the TB Diagnostic Network Assessment Tool, uh, giving us uh, an overview of the different components and also explaining how it is used and what are the main output of uh, the tool. He will then be followed by Professor Moses Toloba, which is a director of the Supranational Tuberculosis Reference Laboratory and Ministry of Health in Uganda. And Professor Joloba will explain the role that the Supranational uh, Laboratory is playing in supporting the rollout of the uh, TB DNA tool across different countries that the Supranational Lab is supporting in Africa, but also uh, beyond Africa. And then our final presentation will be provided by Dr. Anthony Kassa, which is a development uh, program specialist with USAID in Ethiopia. And Professor Kassa, Dr. Kassa will provide us an overview of how the tool has been used also uh, in Ethiopia um, and what were the output of the assessment. So without further ado, I will give the floor to uh, Dr. Alex, uh, which will be taking us uh, through this presentation. Thank you, Mama Margaret. So it's, it's a pleasure um, for me to, to go quickly over the, the TB tool and, and explain um, the process for the TB DNA. Um, next slide, please. So, um, so, so the, 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 the First, before, let, let's go back to the TB diagnosis process, which follows the structure of the existing healthcare pyramid in each country. So the lab net, networks um, start from the community level with a, 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 a patient or, or any person experience, experiencing symptoms and who decide to, to seek for care. Or a health worker on the field at the community level um, Doing um, outreach activities and at its find someone needed to 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 be to be tested, or also the patient coming at the facility level to to in order, in order to seek for care. Then the appropriate test is needed to be ordered by a healthcare provider, and in some cases we need a rapid and safe referral system in in order in order to send the specimen collected. To the appropriate lab for, for testing if there's no testing capacity in the facility where, where the, the patient um, 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 is, is um, seen, then the, the, the specimen need to be tested. We do is well transmitted. And then if if um, the, the, the patient is diagnosed TB, treatment needs to, to be initiated and then follow up. 
So the library um, test is not it's just one part of, of the whole justice process. So we have many components of a TB program in the health system involved in, in, um, to successfully using a, a, a new part of care TB diagnostic that go beyond the, the laboratory system. And also efficient linkages between all steps um, in the diagnostic process should also, also exist. Next slide, please. So the, the purpose of the TBDNA is to comprehensively evaluate the country's diagnostic network to assess its functionality and performance of the, of the national um, dancing network in the perspective of the ability to meet the needs of the country such as them. Um, so the, the, the DNA overall allow the country to identify and objectively measure the strengths, the weaknesses within the, the network and also to prioritize interventions and support that may be needed from external donors and technical partners. Next slide. So um, we're going to do the method, 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 methodology. Um, we use an Excel tool named the TBNet tool to control the DNA. This tool is designed to be suitable and used in any country. Um, at first, a self-assessment is conducted using the TBNet tool um, by the, the NTP and NTL staff, the Minister of, of Health. Then we have a team of external assessors that come in country um, to, to, to do the visits in order to verify the self-assessment that is made and that was made by, by, by the staff from the Ministry of Health. And during those visits, we have core capacities and components that are assessed using specific and standard questions. Um, and, and we have many, and also define um, different methods that range from either a desk review, interview of, of, of staff or clients, also observation of, of, of the staff who provide the services. As an outcome, we, we have evidence-based and, and research-oriented conditions to inform the development of, of the, the of, a, of a network um, that may, um, the development of a, of a, a operational plan that may serve as a roadmap for the Ministry of Health, the donors, and also its technical partners. Next slide, please. Next slide. So this slide is, is mainly to note that the DNA is not a way to, to impose new algorithm policies or accommodation to countries, not a way to, 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 to identify you know, a specific county or a specific, a specific um, site to, 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 to blame. It's not a, neither a scorecard to compare networks among, among different programs. It's not a way to, to provide a list of some specific recommendations and not a, a mean to conduct which, which supervision. It is, it, is, it, is, it is mainly meant to assess the, the functionality of, of the network in terms of the ability to meet the, the, the strategic plan. And it uses a semi quantitative scoring to identify the capability stages for, um, of, of, of various aspects of the network. It's also a means to identify areas for improvement and, and, and also is country led and, and country owned. Next slide. So we have core, 10 core capacities. You, when you do the TBDNA, you, we assess 10 core capacities. Those are the, 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 those, those core capacities. And, and for each core capacities, we have the responsibility component. For example, for, for, the, for the core capacity seven workforce, we, have, we, we, we look at um, those three, those three components, education and training, staffing, human resources, de de development strategy. For the core capacity nine, um, quality, quality, we look at the quality assurance at, at, the, at the lab levels. We look at the quality management systems and also certification and accreditation. Next slide, please. No, um, the previous one. Um, next one. Oh, so it looks like we have the previous version. So okay. So so um. So this slide shows um. 
some question and 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 you know for 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 in the Tibina tool. So this this is this is this is a screenshot of, 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 of the tool where we have a, a different question and an and example of capability stages from zero to five. For example, this question asks um, look at whether or not the national TB dust algorithm is available. Um, is available that is responsive to the epidemic pesticide centered and based on the insurance best practices. And we have different score possible. Zero doesn't know. The first um, one, the algorithm um, for TB are available at some laboratory, at some laboratories, but not current or complete. Up to five, which is the current national um, dust algorithm, is available at our public and private facilities and regularly updated. Next slide, please. And this, and just to to to, to note that um, we use a um, staging or capability level that went from from zero, completely absent, to fully compliant with international standards, zero to five. And <clears throat> so the, the target level stage for each component may vary by, um, 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 for each program. For example. One one um um a program in a country may 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 agree that the score three is the highest that they think they think that they should attain for 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 or or capacity or component while others may 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 want to reach the the the, the highest stage um which is the, the five next slide. So um. This um, this is just to um, show um, that you know we have um, we have when we do the sad visit we have eleven different questionnaires that will be applied at the field level and that will help to 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 determine the the, the adequate scoring and staging. So one question in the tibia tool may may be related to to one or several question in those questionnaires. And, and as I said, the response obtained will be will allow to assign the appropriate appropriate scoring scoring and staging. For example, um, the this question for 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 this question in the in the tool, um, we have below the checklist where we have five different questions that will help um, provide information to to uh, to, uh, to 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 uh, to to address the correct scoring and stage staging. And for each question, the, the, the method of verification is specified, either, as I said earlier, desk review, question, or objective observation. Next, please. So this is this is just a screenshot of the Tibina tools tool and, and the scoring for, for, for several questions in, in the tool. Next, next one. And once um the the, the score we 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 provide the scoring and setting for each question. We are able to 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 determine the cap the capability percentage, which measures the overall pro progress towards reaching stage five, up to um, up to stage five, which is one hundred percent of the capability, and this is calculated based on the on the number of questions that are that are um, included for for this core capacity. For example, we have the the, the core capacity for algorithm, algorithm they have which has. Um, eight questions for each questions for for the overall for each question the maximum score is five, and this for example we have a, for the for for those eight questions the total score is twenty two, so divide by by the by the maximum score that can be obtained, which would provide a score of fifty five percent. Next slide. So this is just a screenshot of the tool. It's an, an Excel file. We, we have all the um, tabs for each of the core capacity, and and and, and the last tab that aggregate all the all the um, all the information captured in, in each in each tab. Next one. And and an example of one of the tab with with all the questions and the the scoring and staging from zero to five, and also. The, the the column to assign the scoring and also comments um, um that um that um support the scoring provided next slide 
So this is a, an example of of the the um, final um, spider um, graph obtained for, for for one country, where we have the scoring for the self uh, made by the self assessment team from the Ministry of Health in blue, and and um, and the scoring provided by um, after the SAD visits. Um, um, when the team convene in a workshop to 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 discuss and, and, and to, to aggregate the findings and provide the adequate the the the, the, the wheel scoring is in staging in green and you you have all the technical capacities with with the the, the capability stages in terms of percentage next one so um now just a quick look to 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 exp to well, let's go on into process how we will conduct the DNA. First, we have four phases, four processes. The first one is the pre-assessment data collection and analysis, where we gather um, key um, um, documents um, from the at the country level and also um, um, collect the data um, to in order to 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 um, collect data re re reports. And 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 we 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 do some analysis and 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 we can we can um um provide for example we 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 analyze the data and provide um provide um solution for the country in, 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 um in order to to increase access to to rapid multiple diagnosis and also the the um. The documents um, that are that are collected also helps in in doing the the workshop in order to provide the adequate scoring and staging. Next one, the next process is the self assessment, where um, as 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 I said earlier, the, the team in country, both the NTP and NTL, they come together, and 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 using the the, the TBNA tool, they they assess the capacity um, 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 in those ten. Um, um, um the the the, the capacity stage for, for for each 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 of of the core capacities um and then so so when we have the score the scoring made by, by the MOH team it will be used um after the the, the visits to in order to compare and, and provide accommodations next slide So um, the input verification it's it is 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 performed by by external consultants um, in terms of external consultant, we have local uh, consultant. It's not, it's, it's not in this case mean um, staff that that are not in, directly involved in the day-to-day -day management of the of the system. So we have local consultants um, from 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 um, employment partners, from 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 the mission of of, of, um, of donors, um, also consultants, and then we also have um, internal internal experts that come in country. To provide support in, in, in doing the the the, 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 the visits. Um, so um, so so the stage for 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 some question I also I said during doing visits at the national intermediate and peripheral laboratories. Also, we we do visits um um, um provincial and, and, and sub county level um um offices to 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 uh, to also um assess um, the capacity to, 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 to manage the network. Next slide. And after the, 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 the visit, um, the team convene into a workshop. We usually find the workshop to, to review um, the finding of the assessment that analyzes this. Um, also, all the data that that um, um, collected for from the checklist are entered into our, our web-based um, software service CTO, which allows the aggregate aggregation of, of all the information, and 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 all this information aggregated will will, will, will be will, will help the team in in assigning the the, the adequate scoring and staging for each of the components for the of the core capacities, and and at the at the end of the day. Um, the team will 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 be able to 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 provide specific accommodation um in order um, to help the country to 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 develop a cost of operational plan and and that will that will address um the main 
um, um, issues and findings um, from from the from the DNA. And this operation plan developed by, by the by the country usually sh should be should be um, prioritized by and also with clear responsibilities and deliverables and timeline. Next one. So um, just this slide is just to share some of the challenges that we 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 met when doing the, the DNA and also how we were able to address those challenges. Um, during the planning phase, which usually take six to, to eight weeks, um, and 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 also start with with, with the initial decision with the NCP and NTL to develop the scope for for the DNA. Um, so one of the challenges is to ensure and maintain or development of the of the of the NCP NTL and 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 the and the um, key IP that will help implement the DNA. So this is as I said earlier, this is a joint. Um, Assessment, and we do value, and 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 and, and it, we must have the collaboration, close collaboration with NCP and NTL. And usually, in in order to address this, to address this, this, this challenges, you know, with multiple competitive priorities, we have focal person at the at the at the country level that help ensure this coordination. We also have a much. Sometimes we have mass massive logistic planning. In some countries, we 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 went and visit more than um, around 11 provinces and, and more than 100, um, 100 facilities and, and offices. And it does require you know, a, a, a good um, 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 logistic planning. And, and, and also the need to have external assessors that are, that are also, um, that can cover all the key covers co co and components. And and, and 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 that will be able to provide the, the, the adequate um, accommodation to address the, the issues met. We also some challenges that 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 we met while while implementing the, the DNA on the field. Usually the implementation um, on the field it takes us three to four weeks. Um, sometimes we have in some countries last minute withdrawal from from, from some assessors, maybe due to illness or or, or other or other um, or other issue. And, and in this case, usually we, we try to, to have, you know, maybe two, two assets, two local and two national assessors as a backup in, in order to, to, to respond to those last minutes um, 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 issues. Also, we, we, you know, this process is a, is, is a, is a really participative, you know, um, we do, as I said earlier, value the, 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 the participation of the, of the Ministry of Health staff. And, um, not only during the the self assessment, but also during during the visit, where 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 they are they are, they are as observers, both are from the central level, um, Ministry of Health staff, and also um county level Ministry of Health, of, of Health staff, and also we we, we value their, their 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 comments during the workshop where where we'll be reviewing the the, the results, but sometimes it's uh, it's also hard to 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 keep you know those observers. You know, to 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 sometimes they, they they tend not to 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 um to to ensure they will have observers and want to 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 um participate more. So we have sometimes we need to to bring them back to to the observer rules. Next slide. So um the key takeaways. So um so. First, um, to do the DNA, we, we need first to, to, to develop a so, which is tailored based on the country objective needs and, and context. A strong involvement of the NCP and the mission, and NCP and the mission is needed during all four processes. And the key findings and, 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 is, and issues will, will be supported by the changing and scoring um, that that is um, that will be um, done using the, the aggregate data from the field visit, interview, and test review, and and um, we, we spoke about the different the, the, the different visits with, with the with, with the external um, 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 external um, um, external um, experts. Um, next slide. And lastly, just to 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 um, give a quick update, a quick, a quick information regarding the first um, process, which is the data collection and analysis. 
based on the country country needs, we also um, provide support to do this lab search analysis, which 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 mainly um, assess the protein coverage and accessibility to to the to the rapid molecular diagnostics, where we can identify gaps and propose conspicuous recommendation to for network optimization, expansion, and improvement. We also um, look at we can look at the as the, the the to assess the the capacity of those those machines and um and and look whether or not they are sufficient you know to to conduct the test at, at the at the at the at the start level we also have our mdl comp component with the with the um both um to include our support with of support system around the, the, those those um um solid and liquid culture lab but also with the introduction of, of the new clinical module expert, we also include an NGO component to this analysis. And we also we can also expand this analysis to, to look at the, the specimen for linkages and, and, and propose you know, any redesign if needed, but also um, 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 develop um, routing to, to increase access. Thank you, and back to you, Chair. Thank you, Alex. So we will be uh, proceeding and going to the next presenter, who should be Professor uh, Joloba. Uh, Professor, can you confirm you are online? Uh, Margarita, Professor was not able to join. I think mm -hmm. he's up, so I'll be presenting on his behalf. Thank you. So good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everyone. Uh, my name is Patrick Kademon from the SRA Uganda. I'll be presenting a brief on the TB diagnostic assessment, the SRA Uganda experience. Next slide. So the presentation outline will be just an overview of what the SRA network is, the mandate of SRA Uganda, the enablers and the barriers in the TB diagnostic network process, and uh, zeroing down on the Uganda TB DNA experience. Next. Let's continue, please. So the uh, SRA network was established in 1994 with the purpose to provide technical resources for laboratory scale up and capacity building. It's composed of 32 SRL laboratories across the continent, for which two are currently candidate SRL uh, and those are in Africa. So that is the map of the SRL network. You can see that a number of the SRLs are in Europe with uh, three in Africa and uh, the two candidate SRLs are also in Africa. Next. Next. So the SRL uh, network is organized in such a way that uh, there is an SRL that supports uh, a number of the NTRLs. And those NTRLs are uh, ultimately are responsible to support the intermediate laboratories within the country to improve diagnostic uh, network activities specifically regarded to TB. Next. So the mandate of SRL Uganda currently is to assist NTRLs and NTLPs to implement WHO policies and guidelines on TB diagnosis, provide standardized external quality assurance, facilitate sharing of standardized technical reports, coordinate comparative evaluations of diagnostic. Next slide. So Uganda SRL has currently support, supports uh, a total of 30, 23 countries. And of those 23 countries, nine of them are in the EXA, that's East, Central, and South, South African Health Community States, as listed on your, on your left, including Kenya, Lesotho, Malawi, Mauritius. And then we also support countries that are not necessarily under the EXA states. And those include countries like Burundi, Botswana, Angola, that might not necessarily be Anglophone speaking countries. Next. So that is the map of the countries that we support. 
So with regard to the DNA, currently SRL Uganda has supported a number of DNAs, and those DNAs have been supported in 12 countries. And of those 12 countries, we have DR Congo, Ethiopia, India, Kenya, Malawi, Nigeria, South Africa, Tanzania, Zimbabwe, and Uganda. And those outside of Africa, we have Cambodia and India. Next. So what were the enablers for us as SRA Uganda to be able to support these countries? So we have uh, a decade of support to lower and middle income countries. And for this, we have been able to support countries ultimately uh, advocate for resources, to mobilize for resources. We've supported countries to develop policies, including strategic plans, and we have provided uh, capacity building activities, which ultimately are intended to improve diagnosis within the countries. And DNA is one of those platforms that we can use to be able to achieve this. Next. So we have also established a number of partnerships with a number of multi-sector organizations, uh, including uh, EXA, as I had mentioned before, ASLM, GIZ, USAID, CDC, COFI, uh, to mention, but just a few. And these partnerships are present in many countries to, to further support diagnosis and uh, improve the, the quality of services in the countries. Next. So we have a pool of very experienced staff. Previous slide, please. We have a pool of experienced staff and these are winners because you can see that uh, as a SRA in Uganda, we have currently two accreditation schemes, including 15189-17043. And we are also accredited to perform uh, trainings and have been certified in this process. Next. So uh, it's all not rosy when it comes to conducting the DNA because uh, there are very, a number of barriers to conducting the DNA and one of them is limited knowledge of the benefits of the DNA, hence the reason we are having this webinar today. There is also sometimes a political and social will uh, to be able to conduct the DNA and this causes a number of delays. And then there's uh, limited systems for implementing the recommendations for the for following the DNA is another. And uh, above all, the, uh, the DNA is uh, a resource uh, heavy uh, event venture, which countries and uh, partners really need to be able to, to plan for. Next. So the way forward, looking at the regional context, I think as SRL Uganda, we intend one, to support DNA in uh, to the remaining countries that may show interest in the DNA. We also intend to review the progress towards attaining the recommendations from the countries that have already pa pa participated in the DNA. And uh, also we, we desire to advocate for funding to address the gaps that may have been uh, identified in the DNA and the recommendations to further support countries to achieve their intended goals by one, at the, looking at the regional interventions, but more importantly, also looking at the very uh, country interventions as a whole. Next. So looking at that, uh, at the regional perspective, as Uganda, the DNA was also conducted in Uganda and quickly I'd want us to just share the Ugandan experience. So next. So in Uganda, the DNA was conducted and five key interventions were proposed. One of them was accelerate implementation of the diagnostic algorithm. The other one was to, to reinvigorate and improve on support supervision. There was another on expanding accessibility and promptness for the gene expert. Another was to improve and strengthen data collection and analysis. And the final one was on data connectivity. 
Next. So as a country, from the recommendations that were, were proposed, we currently have been able to achieve very important milestones. And one of them is the country has developed its own data connectivity solution called the Lab Expert, which has been installed in all molecular uh, WHO recommended platforms. We have streamlined our monitoring and evaluation systems at the NTP. And I think this has helped us to be able to achieve a lot by increasing coverage of uh, access to molecular WRDs. We moved from about 263 gene expert machines to 320. We currently have 40 tronuts and 16 TB lamps installed. There has also been a, a, a pilot on a clinical laboratory interface, which has helped us to improve linkage to testing, improve linkage to treatment, and above all, improve treatment outcomes in the country. Next slide. So as talking about the treatment outcomes, we have been able to increase treatment coverage from 75% to 105% in 2022 from 2019. We have increased the molecular WRGs among notified cases from 49 in 2019 to 70% in 2022. We've increased bacterial confirmation from 50% to 64%. And uh, we have also increased bacterial confirmed TB cases tested for revampicin from 45 to 75%. And our DR case finding has also increased from 37 to 54% in 2022. Next. So thank you very much. Uh, as I already mentioned, we are winning team Obrigado, Mexi, and Asante Sana. Thank you very much, Patrick. And now we're gonna to move to the last presentation which will be the one provided by uh, Dr. Antony. Uh, okay, so the floor is yours. You may go ahead. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much, uh, dear uh, facilitator, and also uh, ACLM for organizing this important uh, uh, webinar. Uh, so I'm uh, Antana, uh, Antana Kasa. Uh, I'm working for USAID Mission in Ethiopia and uh, working on this uh, to support the national program. So this is uh, uh, my presentation outline. So just to give you uh, a little bit background about Ethiopia, if you don't know about Ethiopia, Ethiopia is the second uh, largest population country in, Ethiopia, in Africa, next to Nigeria. And we are among the high TB and TB HIV burden countries uh, for 2020 to 2025, with annual incidence rate of 119 uh, incident cases per uh, 1,000 population. But uh, annually, uh, a country is uh, observing around 8% decline in the TB incidence uh, rate. And uh, we're uh, thinking we're gooding toward this ending. Uh, TB by 2035 as global uh, commitment. However, the national programs still have um, uh, access issue to rapid molecular test and ensuring universal DST for uh, first line and second line drugs for all registered TB and their TB cases. And uh, above that, uh, the country also misses around 30% of annually uh, estimated incident TB cases and 40% of uh, drug resistance TB cases. So the national diagnostic policy in Ethiopia uh, advocates for uh, endorses uh, use of uh, uh, rapid molecular technology when it is available. So this is uh, the national TB diagnostic network uh, structure. Uh, the Ethiopian health system has got three tier and uh, um, uh, uh, similarly that uh, the lab also has got three, but in TB, uh, considering the uh, how we provide support to the lower levels, we have a uh, uh, four tier system, which uh, like, but the national and regional levels can be considered as one and uh, the lower two uh, as a second and third one. In terms of availability of uh, diagnostics, Ethiopia has got more than uh, 4,000 uh, health facility, uh, hospital and uh, health center. 
And we have more than 4,000 uh, diagnostic sites uh, with microscopy. And GenExpert is currently available in 500, uh, around 500 sites, and, but the number uh, is around 513. And additionally, out of this, we have uh, around 131 uh, 10 color machine, which also performs color line DST. And we started uh, implementing uh, another rapid molecular technology for the diagnosis of TB and their TB using Tornat. Uh, as you can see, uh, it is only 10. And currently, uh, we have got around uh, 10 regional culture and DST uh, centers uh, with uh, leadership of the National Reference Laboratory, which can perform all range of diagnostic tests, including full DST for new TB drugs like uh, uh, Dalaman, uh, Bedaculin. So, uh, Ethiopia developed uh, its first uh, TB lab, uh, NSCP, actually before uh, the conduct of the TB uh, DNA. Uh, and these were uh, the key problems that were identified and recognized to be addressed by this uh, uh, NSCP. The first one is we, as a country, we never had any uh, rigorous systematic assessment conduct to inform the program uh, how to strengthen the lab system. And also, this was also the problem in the development of this uh, first uh, uh, TB lab in SCP. And the lab section, on the other hand, uh, when you see it in the comprehensive TB in SP, uh, it, it is it's barely adequate. Like you can't, uh, out of uh, 200 pages, you can find maybe one page for dedicated for lab. And with that, uh, you know, cannot uh, ensure uh, access to quality assured service to all who need it in the, in the country. And the country has uh, also had problem of uh, having uh, TB laboratory surveillance system to track performances with different tests. And we're just pushing uh, consumables and all others uh, just by assumptions, but uh, it was not informed with records information. And there was also a problem uh, for the national uh, TB program, how to pack the standard of support uh, to strengthen and the TB diagnostic capacity at different levels, especially after uh, the country is uh, rapidly uh, increasing uh, the number of uh, rapid molecular tests with gene experts, which require uh, minimum initial capacity to operate on the machines. Otherwise, uh, you'll have a lot of problem. Like, for example, uh, at any given time over the past two years, around 30 or Uh, we did it. Uh, we did it uh, for with the rigorous approach uh, for the TB diagnostics, and uh, it was conducted by. leadership of USID supported uh, financially and technically, and it was conducted between uh, October to November 2021. And most of the time was for planning, preparation, resource mobilization, identification of uh, the key document in the like. Otherwise, the in-country level uh, verification uh, was uh, for two weeks. And we engaged around 11 external assessors who are experts in this area. And uh, thank you, the Uganda Supranational Labs. They supported the national program both in this DNA, also in the development of the first uh, NSCP. So, where did you go? We this team has visited uh, around seventy-two sites nationwide with this map, and Ethiopia is a very uh, uh, big country with uh, terrain and difficult uh, to, for access, and also. There was also a northern area conflict, but the team was brave enough to access uh, some of the sites and to learn about the impact of uh, conflict and 
they informed the national program how to do it. So this was the process. Uh, so in the process, initially for the first uh, four or five months, this uh, concept was developed. Uh, government buy-in was uh, 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 obtained, resource was mobilized, and uh, the key personnel, the documentations in the country level information reports and supportive documents were uh, mobilized and secured and virtual launching happened uh, before the start of the, uh, the in-country assessment and before the uh, the on-site verification uh, as alex mentioned uh, first uh, the system it by itself assessed itself and that self-assessment was entered into uh, a tv net tool and uh, after the uh, the external consultant uh, arrived in country. Uh, they went uh, to verify if the self-assessment finding was uh, consistent with their finding. And also, they had also a series of uh, stakeholder consultation uh, based in the capital to uh, to draw uh, key to reach to consensus on key findings and also uh, make recommendations on the thing core capacity. And at the end. The end uh, product was uh, to have a final report on TV uh, DNA assessment, which actually helped the country in a lot of ways. So the lessons that we got from the TV DNA uh, were many, but I just uh, picked some of the important ones which are relevant to, uh, for this forum. The first one is, as I told you, the Ethiopian NSP was developed uh, just based on expert opinion and uh, uh, desk review. But uh, with this TV DNA information, we, the national program managed to validate uh, if the interventions, the approach, the targets, and every details within the uh, first uh, uh, NSP were correct or not. And, uh, the second one is it, it uh, created a uh, foundation for rigorous evidence-based recommendation for the national program, how to uh, strengthen the capacity and functionality of the TV diagnostic network uh, along the, the, the along the levels. And it also provided additional information on uh, the level of damage and how the strategy how to uh, ensure continuity of service while uh, restoration of the damaged uh, infrastructure was secured. And it also helped us to how to adapt pandemic and also other conflict issues. And uh, finally, uh, it also guided how the TV uh, LQMS standard should be tailored based on the strengths and weakness uh, that was identified from this assessment. And it also helped us very uniquely. Uh, uh, fortunately, the country was very uh, lucky uh, because uh, together with the TVDNA, uh, GIS special lab analysis was conducted uh, that informed how uh, access to rapid molecular technology um, is uh, ensuring and also how new machines can be placed in the future. I'll have, I have uh, some slides and I'll show you. And it also uh, helped to uh, get additional buying from the local government uh, capacity at different level, also increased commitment in uh, dedicating uh, local resource like internet connectivity cost, usage cost, uh, the local government also covers because of this uh, investment and it also created uh, additional resource creating opportunity because this uh, tv dna assessment report was utilized in the recent uh, tv and acp midterm review and uh, the national program TV and also including the information in the latest revised version of the nsp so we believe we still in the future, uh, more and for more resources will be gathered from uh, global funding and other sources. So to show to share some of the achievement, uh, it helped to uh, leverage additional resources, both from internationally and from local. It also helped us uh, to negotiate and convince the local government to include TV uh, reporting indicators within the DHIS2. 
and also with the uh, NTP support, uh, the country also developed a sustainable uh, locally owned uh, quantity solution for lab uh, information. And it also helped uh, to, to solicit uh, the new inform new grants to strain, further strengthen the, the, the diagnostic of the country. And also it also helped to collaborate with other programs like T program uh, now started to with the malaria program to combine the, uh, the EQA programming. Uh, so uh, having said it about the DNA, I'll just uh, use a few minutes uh, to inform you about the importance of uh, doing lab special analysis. USAID. Uh, uh, maybe Thank you, Anthony. Please, uh, because we're only two minutes yeah. to the end, so if you could yeah. be, yeah, well, be I'm, I'm, I'm done. Yeah, I'm done. Thank you. So, please go ahead. So, so the country, uh, USA donated 120 new tank color machines, and there was question of where to place them. So we used the the, the information from the lab expert, the lab analysis, uh, which uh, had three phases, and on the last, the second phase. It uh, advised the country where to place these new machines. Uh, and the, with the third one, uh, it also informed the country where for redistribution of the existing machines when the new machine was uh, uh, deployed. So in summary, conducting TB critical TB DNA is very critical for all TB critical priority countries. And Ethiopia also benefited from this. And uh, uh, when you have TB DNA, you know your, your system, you will determine your need, and you will have efficiencies of resources, and uh, you will strengthen your system. So it is very important. So thank you, and I acknowledge all this. Thank you. Back to you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dr. Uh, Anthony, and thank you to all the panelists today. Uh, I think this, these were a very interesting uh, presentation. We know that it is really key uh, to be able to provide access to patient-centered uh, diagnostic services, and specifically for TB, to be able to provide access to rapid uh, molecular diagnostic tools, not only at the central level, but at all uh, tier of the lab network and hence being able to, to really improve those laboratory network is key. So there has been uh, quite many questions in the chat box uh, regarding uh, specifically the difference between DNO, which is diagnostic network optimization, and the TBDNA, which is a diagnostic network assessment. Um, tool. Uh, I've seen, and thank you, Alex has responded in the chat box and provided more detail. Um, specifically indicating that the DNO uh, is looking at one uh, component, which is uh, mostly the one of coverage and access. And even if you want to know more about diagnostic network optimization, we do have a, a DNO sub-community of practice and dedicated webinar. So uh, you can look on the ASLAM channel also to know more about that. Uh, but the, really the, the TB DNA is really looking at the network, but also at the system that uh, enable your network to function optimally. So it's not about only about coverage and, and access, but it's also about all those different components. So we, Alex mentioned, there is the equipment, there is the supply chain, you have your political and governance framework, uh, you have the laboratory uh, information management system, you have the quality system, etc. So it's really looking, doing a deep dive and looking at how well those ones are functioning and coming up with a plan to, to, to improve all those components uh, as necessary. So maybe Alex, uh, just any back to you for a few seconds before we close, because there, there is a question also as to how the TB DNA can maybe be integrated uh, into the wider uh, laboratory network at country level. So uh, could you please provide some insights uh, as to how the tool can be uh, linked to the wider network? Over to you, please. Hello. 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 Yes, please go ahead. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Can you please repeat your question? Sorry. Yeah, so the question from one of our um, uh, participants was to know 
how the TB DNA uh, can be uh, integrated into the wider network. So when you do the assessment of, of the TB diagnostic, uh, sorry, yeah, diagnostic network, lab network, how does that also account for the general lab network? And we've seen it because both you, Anthony, and Patrick um, also mentioned the fact that when you are looking at the network, when you are looking, for example, at the equipment, you also are looking at the multiplexing, so multi-disease testing capacity. We've seen with Ethiopia that there is integration now with um, malaria. So maybe if you could provide a few words on that. It seems we have lost, I don't see Alex online anymore, unfortunately. Maybe, maybe Antone, can you just give a few words about how the, the malaria and TB uh, component uh, were integrated, how, how the TB DNA contributed to that? Over oh, to you, please. Uh, I'm back. Um, hello. Yes. Oh, Alex is back. So either Alex or uh, Antonio, can you provide yeah. Yeah. some uh, words? Yeah, I can't. I can't start. Yeah. Uh, uh, the TV DNA uh, is not directly uh, advocating the uh, or facilitated the, for the integration, but you know, TV DNA gives you. Uh, information about the capacity and functionality of uh, the diagnostic system you have at uh, a different level. And TV and malaria using the same technology, the same system, the same labs. So we use the information, you know, as a cross cutting uh, so that, you know, when we are uh, uh, jointly working the, together, so, you know, we, we save more resource so we can use the money to further strengthen the, the capacity of each level. Over. Thank you, Anthony. Uh, Thank you. Alex, you wanted to oh, yes. yeah, maybe just a yes, few words before Anthony. we wrap up. Yes. Thank you. Yes. So, so, so um, you know, the TB DNA is, 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 you know, TB specific. However, when we assess some core capacity, it, 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 it also has inform other, 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 other diseases, you know, that 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 uh, that 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 uh, you know, or, or, or the service of, or, or offered by the at the lab level, either malaria or HIV. For example, when you look at the biosafety, when we look we look, we look at it as a whole, not only for, for the TV program but also for the other program. Same thing as uh, as as um, the workforce and 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 also the quality. So um, it's true the DNA is, is still. You know, to be specific for TB, but we have some core cap some core capacities that, when we do the assessment, it also cover other diseases in other program. Over. Thank you. Thank you very much to you both. So this brings us to the end of, of the session for today. Uh, we thank again all the panelists for the good insight, also uh, the supranational lab in Uganda for really showcasing the South to South. Uh, capacity building so to or, or the support between uh, country uh, on the continent. And if you want to know more about the tool, it will be available in the coming weeks on the GLI website. Uh, you may also contact uh, the, the lab cop and uh, maybe Alex, if you could put your contact in the chat box as well. So USAID to get uh, more uh, information. As a reminder, you can just uh, look at ASLM uh, website uh, to get access uh, to uh, the lab cop. So on that, this is the end for today. Thank you, everyone, and goodbye until next time.